And what you get with independence is this. You get the powers to build an economy that puts the health and the happiness of its citizens at its heart. Not an economy based on failed trickle-down economics taking us in a downward spiral. With independence, you get the powers to tackle the cost of living crisis. Not being forced to suffer the biggest fall in living standards since records began. You get the powers to build a welfare system that protects you, not one that punishes you. You get to be inside the European Union, the world's biggest single market, not dragged out of Europe against your will. You get an energy policy that works for Scotland's people and works for the planet, not an energy market designed to work for Westminster and corporate shareholders. We get a constitution, a written constitution, that guarantees that we are a country which enshrines and protects the rights of every single citizen. Not a country where populist politicians strip people of their fundamental rights, particularly from our most marginalized communities. You get a constitutional right that protects the NHS at the point of use. Not what we see at the moment, creeping privatisation from the UK government, from the Tories and with Labour. With independence and a written constitution, we get a country which opens its heart and offers sanctuary to those who flee conflict. Not one that bundles them on a plane to Rwanda. And friends with that written constitution, we get a country that bans nuclear weapons from our soil for good.